A big mabuhai, everybody, and hope everyone's doing great out there. This video is for expats who can't get back to the Philippines. You know, I've been thinking about this a long time. I've been looking at YouTube, and there's a lot of uh, interest um, in trying to get back to the Philippines, and people are really feeling kind of bad. Some are, you know, are leaving the Philippines, go back to the U.S. because things are not going so well right now. In the Philippines, not improving as quickly as people would like. And, of course, there are future expats that want to go to the Philippines and meet someone. But they can't. Because right now, travel is restricted only for married couples that travel with a Filipino citizen. And so, um, it's almost impossible unless you're a citizen or have a special visa. Of course, all these things are up, up for change. But, you know, when I was looking for a, a girlfriend or someone to marry and I was, you know, in Hawaii and um, I was working with lots of Filipinos and I kind of decided that that's what I was going to do. I was going to marry a Filipina. And it would really, really bother me if I made all these plans. I know some of you have made your plans out there and you cannot get there. Whoa, that's got to be tough, you know? But I know that some of you are kind of feeling uh, lonely at home. Um, and you're like, you know, what can I do? I want to get married. I want to meet a Filipina. And you've heard really good things about Fili Filipinas. They want to have families. They want to get married. They want to have a traditional lifestyle. And you've kind of maybe been watching these videos because even in the U.S., maybe, unfortunately, you're laid off or... You've heard about this. You're kind of interested. You may even be overseas. And the one thing, you know, for better or for worse, um, is that there's always Filipinos around. <laughs> They're everywhere, you know. And this was part of the economy that was created in the Philippines for Filipinos to go abroad and send money home. And... Um, you know, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's the reality of the situation. Which, you know, even now during lockdown, if you can't go back to the Philippines or go to the Philippines for the first time, there are plenty of Filipinos in your area that you can meet locally if that's what you want to do. They're, they're almost in every town in the U.S., in Europe. I know they're in the U.K., they're in Germany. Um, they're, they're everywhere. And so not necessarily do you have to go to the Philippines to meet someone if you don't want to. And now it's really, really tough to do that. So what I would recommend, you know, at first is try the local dating sites, right? And so there happens to be one, though. And let me, uh, if I can get this clicked up there, there we see. This one is uh, kind of an interesting site um, that I saw, Christian Filipina. And this is something I haven't seen before. Apparently, he's been around kind of a long time. So even if you want to meet locally, you may want to kind of like, you know, get a jump start on things. And you could do that by going to some of these websites. This guy's a little expensive. I mean, you can check him out. I read a little bit. He's more of a personal um, kind of service where he wants to make sure you're okay and the person you're meeting is not a scam or anything like that. And so they do like personal interviews, I believe, over the phone. He was interviewed by the BBC like 10 years ago. I've not used his service, but, you know, it might work for you. But it seems a little a little pricey. You know, what I would do if I were trying to jumpstart is I would try this dating site called Christian Dating for Free. Uh, there's another one called also called Christian Mingle. Um, and... You know, you can put in your shirts or whether where wherever you live in the U.S. or even overseas or whatever. But they're a little expensive, and the problem is even Filipinas that are living abroad, they don't have a lot of money, and so um, they will. Like my wife, she put her money, you know, out there for a U.S. dating website, and it was expensive for her. But a lot of Filipinas, it's it's an expense they can't meet. So the free dating website, and I've read a little bit about this website. It's okay. So you could do this locally, and you can search by ethnicity, or you can just go through the profiles, right? And you can even, you know, put in your profile, maybe just looking for a Filipina. And, you know, that's the one thing is that Filipinas, you know, they, they network. And so 
they're also looking for people that are looking for them. Uh, so I, that's what I would do. But if you're not into the whole you know, website thing and you're not really sure about that kind of stuff, feel a little uncomfortable, even now, you know, it, it's kind of normal now. Like when, when I was doing it, I was like the oddball. You know, when I was doing it, you know, 2007, 2006. And, um, but I also had tried to meet Filipina locally as well. And I worked with them. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out. And I kind of just wanted to go my own way. And you might be better doing that or doing both. Um, but I never really asked them. And, you know, there is a certain amount of security when you're with a colleague or someone that you know and they're going to uh, sort of um, introduce you to someone in their family. And, you know, in American culture, that's not something we do anymore. Um, it was done, you know, when I was growing up, still, people would introduce one another. Now it's, you know, the, the family relationships really aren't that strong in America. And so, and the desire for marriage isn't that strong. And so that kind of culture is dead in America to a certain degree. But for the Filipinos, it's a natural thing. They want to get married. So if you ask them, it does, it's not an awkward thing. Like in the U.S., it's like, oh, there must be something wrong with this guy. He wants to get married or... Uh, you know, that he can't find a girl or, or something like that. No, for them, it's natural. And if you ask them, you know, they'll be thrilled if they, they like you to, you know, if they have a cousin. And there's the Filipino families are so big and they have so many cousins. You know, it's not, e it, it's very, very easy for them to re to meet someone through somebody else. It's natural. And it might even be somebody that's there already or a cousin or a niece or whatever. Um, they, they're, it's not a big deal for them to do that. It's very common for them to do that. Uh, so don't think it's an awkward situation for them. They might even be thinking it themselves because they want to help their families out too. And they want people to meet nice guys, you know? And so for them, that's not a big deal at all. What's, what's, what's happening with that. So don't feel an, like you're doing an, like an awkward thing or if you put yourself out there. The, you know, so it's a very normal thing. And when my situation, we tried to, she tried to have me meet her niece, but the niece was very, very shy. And so what I would do as a recommendation is, you know, Filipinas can be shy. They're embarrassed by this too. Although they're not as embarrassed as they used to be with the online thing. Like my wife, she was, you know, didn't want to tell anybody or whatever. And it was kind of a new thing back then. It's, it, they're very uh, self-conscious. Uh, not all of them, but no, a lot of them are uh, with going online with pictures and things like that. And uh, of course, Facebook and stuff has made it easier. And that's, of course, another way you can go is with Facebook. I've heard people that met online through Facebook. I don't know if I would really trust Facebook that much, but it's an option for people. Uh, I know a guy that used to live in New Jersey that lives in New Jersey, actually. And, you know, we met him at a kind of a swap meet kind of thing. And uh, he met his wife through Facebook. So, hey, and, you know, hey, you know, there's no right way or wrong way or different way. And uh, there's lots of ways to meet a Filipina. But what the other way to do it is to really, you know, go to a Filipino store. And, you know, I have this little... They're so easy to find. And uh, if I can get down here. <laughs> there we go. And um, I just did a Google search for Florida. And I said Filipino stores. And they'll pop up. And you can even probably find, you know, Filipino groups on Facebook and things like that. And if you're a decent person and ask politely, you can find the Filipino store. They're everywhere. And you just go in there and you, and you say hello to people and you shop there. And if you tell them you, you just want to learn about the Filipino culture and learn some recipes and maybe meet some people, uh, they'll, they're overjoyed to, 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 to help you. You know, COVID, yeah, they might be a little, uh, you know, cautious because no one wants to get sick, of course, or anything like that. Under normal circumstances, they'd be like, yeah, sure, come to my house, you know, whatever, we're having a barbecue. You know, they don't, they, they, you know, they're very interested in foreigners that want to know more about their culture. And if you're like a decent person, you know, that's the one thing about, you know, Filipinas that I think are, that's very attractive 
uh, to Westerners and Americans, if you're a good person and you have a job, they think you're okay. You know, unfortunately in Western Europe, in America, you know, um, you know, men sometimes feel like they have to be superhuman to get, you know, a girlfriend or a wife or something like that. And for the Filipinos, you know, Filipina and their families, if you're a decent person, you have a job and you, you know, you, you show up on time. <laughs> well, remember the old expression, love will find a way. And I know you'll find it with a little help that I've just given you. Remember, you can go with an online dating site even if you're looking local. And if you can't get to the Philippines, now's the right time because a lot of Filipinas are at home and they're lonely and so are you, so maybe you'll connect. But local can also be a successful strategy. Find a Filipino store, find a church where lots of Filipinas attend, volunteer at certain events, and you will find the love of your life. See you next time. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.